there has been some discussion of the effects of transformation on raw data and on standardized data and there's a suggestion that the effect of transformation on standardized data is less than on raw data. In other words, once the data has been standardized, there's not a great deal of effect of either square root, fourth root, or log on the actual outcome of things such as ordination. Now we're talking about biological data here, so abundances, where the appropriate transformations are one of those, square root, fourth root, log, done in order to reduce the influence of very abundant species on the outcome. If it was environmental data, then we'd be looking at other sorts of transformations, and for environmental data, standardization is not generally appropriate. Uh, standardization, incidentally, would be used if the size of the samples was not the same, so that we needed to look at percentage composition rather than looking at the raw abundances. So I've done a bit of an exploration here and we'll look at the results. So again I'm using data from my simulation where I've got three replicate samples at a range of sites and there's a range of species. And down, down here I've got the standardized data. So these uh, are effectively percentages, so the abundances are divided by the total abundance for the sample. And then I've gone through for the raw data and done the four transformations, and the same thing for the standardized data. Finally, I've used second stage analysis to look at how well or how similar the similarity matrices are. So, a bit different, I'm not familiar with that. That's second stage here. Um, and I'm using the multiple matrices option down here where I've got untransformed square root, four through log, and presence absence. So, those resemblance matrix, matrices are going to be compared using Spearman's rank correlation. So up here for the untransformed data, and the table down here is for the standardized data. Now you'll see some very slight differences between the two, but it's difficult to actually visualize these. Better is to go to an MDS. Remember, MDS is based on the ranks of the values. So this result here is similar to one I've shown before in my second stage analysis video starting at around about six minutes from memory uh, where presence absence is obviously the most severe transformation we remove all abundance information and it's simply whether the species is there or not and square root four through and log string out a long uh, gradient towards presence absence. If we go on the same thing for the standardized data, the results on the first site appear to support um, the idea. Presence absence again, very different from the others, but apparently less spread among the untransformed square root log and fourth, and they're in a bunch rather than being spread out. If, however, we look at all of them, so up here the untransformed, down here the standardized STA, we get a somewhat different picture. Presence absence are very similar and very different from all the others, and then the spread among the standardized and among the raw data transformed. Um, the spread there is not that different. Now we do have to remember that NMDS works on the rank order, 
rather than the actual values. So a way of getting a look at the actual values to go to the PCO. And I just pause there briefly while I zoom down so we can see where the presence absence are. And as with the MBS, the presence absence are in virtually the same location and very different from the others. Get a better look at the others, we need to zoom in on those. And once we do that, the result is actually similar to the result with the MPS. The raw data transformed separates out from the standardized data transformed, but the spread among the standardized and amongst the raw goes pretty much equal for all intents and purposes. So this result here is saying that raw or standardized does not have a great deal of influence on the effect of the transformation. Obviously there are some effects untransform squared and then these two are similar and transform squared and log and false separate out a bit more there. I suspect this is going to depend very much on the nature of the data that we're using. The simulation here produces what you might call fairly nice and well behaved data. The abundances of the taxa don't vary greatly. So minimums here are 10, 20, 30. Maximums are one, two, three thousand. Now that is some variation, but in real world samples, we might have a range of species that are represented by ones, twos, threes. So very few specimens. Um, some are intermediate abundance in some species in very, very, very great numbers, and in those cases, we may see some difference between transformations of the raw data and transformations of the standardized data.